Hello, I'm Lauren Ativo, and this is Safety First, powered by Embrace Pet Insurance. Embrace knows that a well-trained dog is a safe dog, and that's why in today's video, we're going to share tips for teaching your dog to walk nicely on a leash. The overall goal is to teach them that they can have the freedom to explore their world on a loose leash. After all, isn't that why we walk our dogs? It's for them, so why would we want them to walk next to us in a heel position on their neighborhood stroll? Instead of taking the time to teach their dog how to walk tension-free, many people get frustrated turning to tools like prongs, chokes, or even shock collars. The problem is, these shortcuts hurt, and any pressure on your dog's neck can damage their delicate trachea, especially if you have a small dog like my Preston. There's never a reason to cause pain during a training session when we know it can be done without force. If you have a medical condition that makes walking your dog a liability, you may want to consult with a professional rewards-based trainer to help. There are humane ways to teach loose leash walking with proper fitting harnesses to help minimize pulling while your dog is learning. So let's learn how. A lot of dogs pull not because they don't love you or want to dominate you. The world is fun and exciting, full of smells they can't wait to explore. And you have to admit, sometimes we people just don't move fast enough. After all, we've got two legs, dogs have four, and their pace is naturally faster than ours. Ready to begin? Here's what you need. Four to six foot leash, harness, treat bag filled with high value delicious treats, clicker, or your voice. Start by having high value treats and nowhere to go. You have no destination. Train in your backyard or even inside your home without any distractions. Over the course of a few days, gradually increase your distractions as your dog progresses. One way to improve your dog's leash skills is to play a game. Before we even start walking, connect your dog's leash and stand still. Wait for your dog to release tension in their leash. Click or say yes and treat your dog next to your left knee or whichever side you prefer your dog to walk on. I like my dogs to walk on the protected inside of the curb. Move away to the end of your leash and stand quietly. When your dog approaches you or releases tension, click or say yes. Reward your dog by whichever side you prefer. We want our dogs to learn that releasing the leash tension gets clicked and treated. Do this about 10 times and then move on. Now let's click for eye contact. Walk to the end of the leash. Click or say yes and treat once your dog moves towards you and gives you eye contact. Reward by your left knee. Repeat this a few times. Drop your dog's leash and walk away. If your dog follows, click and say yes as your dog catches up next to you. Reward nose height by your side or just behind you so that your dog learns that good things happen if they stay close. Outside can be much more challenging with the overwhelming sights, sounds, and smells that distract your dog. That's why we'll be using our game with more praise and treats. We want to build your dog's connection so they want to stay with you. First, find a long wall to help your dog move forward close to you with less room to stray. Click or say yes and treat for any nice movement without pulling. Change directions frequently and encourage your dog to follow you. You want your dog to enjoy being with you while they're able to explore and smell all the environment has to offer. Drop the leash if you're in a secure area. Click or say yes anytime they are near your side and give you eye contact. Practice again. Timing is everything. Click or say yes anytime your dog is next to you or slightly behind you. Reward in position. As your dog improves and can walk a distance without pulling ahead, continue to reward randomly in position or for eye contact. Eventually, you can fade out the treats and use praise, but it's always nice to spontaneously pay your dog for their cooperation. Thanks for watching. Remember, with force-free positive reinforcement methods, we can help empower our dogs by teaching them that making good choices is rewarding. If you like what you see here, click thumbs up and subscribe to the Embrace channel. And please, comment below with a video of your dog showing off what they've learned. Until next time.